Andrew McCart, IFL TV in association with MTK Global. I'm here at the weigh-in in Manchester. With me I've got the IBO World Champion, Terry Harper. How are you? I'm very good, thank you. Um, now I've weighed in, that's the hard work done. Uh, focus and very important to tomorrow. Uh, I know we don't like asking fighters that have just weighed in for an interview, but you've always got a smile on your face, so I can't really tell if you're annoyed or anything, so I'm happy to do the interview if you're happy. Um, you've just weighed in there. How real does it feel once you've weighed in? You, I tell you, your opponent for the last time, and you know it's business tomorrow night. Are you ready for tomorrow night? You ready to just yeah, put a um, show? very ready. Um, yeah, last time I'm going to see him until tomorrow night, so it's, it's all sinking in there. Um, but, but I know what needs to be done. Uh, we're going to chill now after weighing in for two hours. Um, and then we're going to fuel up and be nice and big and strong when I get in that ring tomorrow. I mean, you are a world champion. I mean, women's boxing at the moment is, is flying line at the moment and you're going to be a big part of it and oh, yeah, it all goes well tomorrow night, I mean, just talk to me about women's boxing and your part in it and stuff like that. Yeah, obviously I'm on undercard of Katie Taylor, yeah. um, a bit of a surreal moment, but yeah, like you said, women's boxing is flying, you get females on almost every card now, you see, um, but it's good and it's good to be able to say I'm a part of this, this movement really. Um, yeah, it's mainly Kate, thanks to Katie Taylor that's done this for us, us females and given us this opportunity. How are you feeling right now being on the undercard of Katie Taylor? I, mean, I think the last time I spoke to you was in Nottingham way back in March, May, to May in fact I think it was. Yeah. Uh, and you said that Katie Taylor's an idol of yours. So how's it, how big of a moment is this being on our undercard and fighting on the same show as Katie Taylor? It's, it's a very big moment for me. Um, it's memories that I'll, I'll take to my grave really. Um, like I said, it's been surreal, everything's surreal, it's not really sinking in. I think I, when I wake up Sunday morning, that's when it, it'll hit me and be like, wow, you've, like earlier I was seeing Doctor and Katie just come strolling in. Whereas Wednesday, I kind of had a fangirl moment, but now I'm like, just used to seeing him and stuff, which is it's crazy, but it's Obviously, all good. you are just starting off in your career, you can, you can be, well, maybe not the next Katie Taylor, but you want to be your own Katie Harper, but this could be you one time in a young, young female boxer come up might be looking up to you and have that fangirl moment with you in a couple of years time does that give you inspiration with, and stuff like that yeah definitely um, inspiring the, like the younger females um, that it can be done and, and we're, we're doing it proving us that we belong on the big stage so yeah let's talk about Doncaster boxing Dave Allen's obviously is he still the the main person or have you taken over since you're, since you're taken, the world champion I've taken over so who's Dave Allen? Exactly. Who is Dave Allen? He should be here somewhere. Is he here somewhere? Yeah, is he? Yeah, I'll be. I'll be. Don't tell him I said that. I'll tell him that you said it. Um, but we've got. Obviously, we've got. We've got Gavin McDonald in our gym. Um, he, he's he's given some very good advice and stuff during camps and that. Um, so. In our gym, we've got, we've got a good, like, good group of lads, um, as I should say. So. Don't cast the boxes for you, yeah. <laughs> And you're still bigger than Dave Allen, is that what you're saying? Yeah. Good, I like that. I'm happy when you said that. I want to talk about your opponent on Saturday. I mean, she's normally shows for stopping a, a GP Olympian, Natasha Jonas. How much do you know of her and uh, what's, what kind of fight are you going to bring tomorrow night? Oh, obviously that she has carrying some power because she, she does look like a powerful lady, doesn't she? Yeah, um, obviously not, not Midaf, she, she's got the stoppage over Natasha Jonas. Um, so on Saturday night I'm going to go out there and, and box really. Um, hopefully a bit of a boxing lesson in school and then do, do what I do best. Not get dragged into a fight, um, a brawl, I could say. I keep my head, head on my shoulders and stay focused on what, what job we need to do to get the win, whether it's a, a win by a stoppage or a win by on points. Um, you don't care as long no, as win. But you've got one world title. Are you yeah. looking to hopefully collect uh, a couple more in 2020? Yeah, we're not, we're not rushing anything, but it's, it's definitely something that we're looking at next. Um, we've got his eyes on Eva Wallstrom. Uh, yeah, see how it goes. And Doncaster, keep out stadium. Yeah. Keep out stadium. Keep out stadium. Yeah, because Dave Allen has it done that. <laughs> no. <laughs> Are you hoping for something like that, bringing a big, big time boxing back? To yeah, it'd be, it'd be nice to have a big show um, back in Doncaster. Um, there's plenty of, uh, there's plenty of lads and other talent that will that can sell tickets, and we can we can fill the stadium and put on a good, a good show. I won't keep you much longer. I want to, I'm, like I say, thank you for this so quick after the weigh-in. I mean, you've always got a smile on your face. Some fighters won't let you near them because they're starting to be feel, but Terry, you've always no got a smile on your face. Thank, thank you for this fight for TV and good luck Saturday night. I'll see you after the fight. Thank, thank you. you.